In this video, we will discuss a range and bearing tool. Tap on the range and bearing tool located on the toolbar. This will display four range and bearing tools on the toolbar. The dynamic range and bearing line, the range and bearing line, the range and bearing circle, and the bullseye tool. The dynamic range and bearing line, this can be moved and repositioned by the user. Tapping on the dynamic range and bearing line will activate it and highlight it in green. Select the point to measure from, and then the point to measure to. Users can now reposition both ends by touching and dragging, dragging the endpoints. The user will now have access to the radio menu. In the radio menu, the user may change the units of measure, pin the dynamic range of bearing line to the map screen, and delete it. Tap on the pin icon. This will lay a second dynamic range of bearing line directly over top of the existing dynamic range of bearing line. Touch on either end and drag the second dynamic range of bearing line to the desired location. A technique is to drag one end and use it as a visual reference to a sector. Remember to pin the desired dynamic range of bearing line or lines if it's to remain on the map screen after it's deactivated. Activate the range of bearing line. Tap on the desired location on the map or object, then tap on the desired point to measure two. Long press on the end of the range of bearing line, then tap another point on the map. This will adjust the user's range of bearing line. In the radio menu, the user can change the units of measure as well as delete. Note, the range of bearing line compared to objects or markers on the map. The range of bearing circle tool will allow the user to mark one or more range rings around a point. Tap the circle icon located on the range of bearing tool toolbar. When highlighted green, tap the desired center location for the circle, then tap the desired radius. If the self marker or an object is selected as a center point and the object moves, the circle edges will move with the markers if they are repositioned. To make further adjustments to the circle parameters, tap on the center of the circle tool and select the detail sheet from the radio menu. In this menu, the users can add the desired name and adjust the specific units of measure between the rings and the number of rings to be displayed. After making adjustments, the circle tool will be adjusted as specified. The bullseye tool is an additional range of bearing option that gives more information than the standard range of bearing line or range of bearing circle. Tap on the bullseye tool and select the desired center point and the desired radius. The bullseye provides a circular grid with polar ray lines out every 30 degrees from center. Tap on the center of the bullseye to display the radio menu. From the radio menu, ray lines can be changed to either point towards the center denoted in red or away from center denoted in green by tapping on the slice of the 12 o'clock position on the radio menu. Range rings can be added on the radio menu by tapping on the red circle at the 10 o'clock position. These adjustments can also be made using the detail sheet and functions similar to the range of bearing circle. Tap the X located on the range of bearing toolbar to exit the range of bearing tools. This concludes range and bearing.